Hello friends, Del Baloo back again, and um, if you've checked into a couple of other of my videos, I have on the same shirt, same hairdo, same makeup, but I wanted to talk to you a little bit today, in addition to the book review, which I'm going to get into, um, about why I am doing these videos in my office with my books behind me and sitting at this desk. It just turns out the light's good most of the time and um, it just makes for a comfortable um, engagement in communication with you and I hope you're uh, not getting too bored with these um, head and shoulder shots as they are. Uh, but I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about who I am, uh, perhaps where I came from, and um, something of my experience. Um, I think a good resume is always a good place to start if you're seeking communication with other people and you want other people to pay attention to what you're writing and what you're saying. And um, so today, let me just um, give you a little biographical information, uh, some of which you may or may not be interested in. But when I was born, I was born the first of five children, and I grew up in um, a, a very loving home. And so I grew up with some very positive reinforcements. I was well loved, and I so appreciate that. Now, I I got through school, and when I say I got through it, I mean I made it through school, and I should say I made it by the hair of my chinny-chin-chin, and I was grateful to be out of high school, I must tell you. But after I got out of high school, I moved from home to Atlanta, to the big city, Got a job as a file clerk, my first adult job, I guess you would call it. And after I married, my mother-in-law sent me to beauty school. I had expressed an interest in doing hair and felt like I had a talent in doing hair. And so off to beauty school I went, and that was many, many years ago. And I've done many, many, many heads of hair since then, and I maintain my my license. But when I look back over my hairdressing days, I am quite sure that it was the beginning of the pathway toward creativity because hairdressing, if it's done properly, is a very creative activity, very creative career. And I learned a lot, not just about being creative with hair, but I learned how to talk to people, and when I say talk, I mean I did talk a lot, and the nice thing about hairdressing is that you don't see the same person all day, so you can keep telling your stories over and over again. Of course, the people you work with get really sick of hearing your stories, but I realized after many, many years that in telling my stories to different people all day, I, I gained a sense of how to improve on those stories. And they got to be in some respects like the, the fish, you know, that got away, the, the big one that got away. But that, I'm telling you, is, has been the... Um, the sort of background for my writing. And I am an author. I have written um, thousands of pages, both in college and out. I've written uh, many different things. I've written poetry. I've written sermons. I've written blogs, though I wouldn't have called them blogs at the time. And I have written a lot of nonfiction. Thirteen I have published. And I'm working on at least three more. Always working on something, especially if it's creative. I've written one novel, 
which I titled Firewalker, and I'll have a book review about it before long. But the one thing that um, I, I want to say is that um, in 1975, I accepted Jesus Christ as my Savior and my Lord. And from, from the very beginning, I knew there was a change in my life. And I, there, there's a lot I can tell you about that experience. But one aspect of my new Christian life that feeds into what I want to talk to you about today is my art. I went to um, a discount store, uh, Kmart probably, and picked up a, a painting uh, kit that had different colors of oil paint and some brushes and I bought some canvas boards, brought them home and I just experimented with painting a little uh, vegetable arrangement I had on my breakfast room table. And although the colors were pretty um, bright and garish even, um, someone uh, close to me at the time said, well, if you can paint, why don't you paint that? He pointed to a painting that we had purchased from his boss's wife. And so the next day when he came home, I had painted it. And he suggested that I go and take some classes, which I did. And right away, I was just painting with a passion. And I realized, because I, I didn't have that many people to um, sort of compare myself to, but I realized that I had a knack for being able to copy other paintings and to do it fairly effectively. And so I just loved, loved what I was doing and passion is a good word to describe my creativity. Well, in time, um, I'd say a couple of years after I accepted Christ as my savior, I felt that he was calling me to ministry. And ministry meant, because I was a member of the United Methodist Church at the time, and ministry meant that I had to get an education. So I went at age 31, signed up for a college degree. And my my reason behind getting the degree was to get to get a degree so I could go on to graduate school to seminary um, to become a full-time pastor in full-time ministry. Well, I did continue on. It took me seven years to finish my undergraduate degree, but I decided on an art major. And that was probably one of the smartest things I ever did. Although I didn't have to have a certain degree in order to get into seminary. But along the way, I also got a minor in English. And that, it turns out, was um, predestined for me as well. And I'll skip through all the other stuff <laughs> regarding my education and go straight to the fact that I ended up at the University of Georgia in the doctoral program in English and decided to become an English professor, hopefully at a Christian college because there are more ways to preach than from the pulpit. And that proved to be so true. I got my first uh, teaching job, full-time teaching job at Bruton Parker College. I stayed there for eight years before I moved to Pennsylvania. Now, I'm telling you all of these things because this book that I'm going to review today is really a culmination of everything 
that uh, probably I've ever experienced in life. And I've really felt the need to pull it all together. And I hope that you will have the opportunity and the interest to get a copy of this book. Um, the book is published in two editions. The first edition has color photographs in it. And I found out um, too late that it made for a very expensive book. So you may be able to get it in ebook um, and take advantage of the color photographs, but I'm not sure that can happen. But I, I published it again as a second, a second volume, and the photographs are in black and white. I think they're still effective for what they are. And you may go to my website, www.dellblue.com, and you can see all of that in color, along with my other paintings and photographs and many other things that you'll find there. But um, I've, I've just had an awesome life. It's not been without difficulties. Um, I guess I'm like the average person. I had some up times and some down times and some good decisions and some bad decisions. But all things considered, I've had a wonderful life and hope that that wonderful life continues. I'm having the time of my life right now creating videos, art tutorial videos, and these book reviews and some other teaching videos. So I hope you'll check out some of my other uh, channels.